This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Well, today we're going to do a short video, but hopefully a helpful one. Uh, what we're going to look at is how to render out a wireframe in Keyshot. Okay, so here we go. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so uh, let's uh, start in Maya. You don't have to start in Maya. Uh, that's just where my model is because I want to show you the entire process. But whether you created your model in Maya or 3ds Max or Blender or something else, it doesn't really matter, okay? So I'm just gonna go to uh, File and Import and I'm just gonna import the model that I'm gonna use for this, which is my uh, flyer, the right flyer. Uh, it's uh, quite an old model I did a long time ago, but I think it's really suitable for these purposes. And as you can see, it's uh, one object and it has a gray default Lambert set to it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're simply going to select this guy. We're going to go to file and export the selection. And I'm going to export it as an OBJ. And in my case, because I already did that, I'm just going to overwrite this. And there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump into Keyshot. Here we go. Okay, guys, here we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our flyer. So we're going to go to File and Import. And here it is. And let's open that up. And I'll leave that all alone. Just hit Import. And what you will see is that there's basically not uh, anything special going on here. We just have our plane that's been brought in. Now. What the goal is here is to display your wireframe wire model and um, you kind of need to ask yourself for what purpose. Is it just because you have a, let's say, a demo reel where you want to show off your models and show off the, uh, the wireframe as well? Or is it for technical reasons and so forth? Okay, and that kind of depends whether you want to have a background, shadows and so forth. But we're going to go with this, all right? So uh, I got this set up here and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to my uh, backdrop here and I'm going to use a white solid. Okay, and I think that was, well, that's actually quite bright. Let's go back one step. Yeah, it's a bit better. Okay, so we're going to go with that one. And uh, what I want to do is I want to go with an environment that will give me some light. Now, because the scene is basically non-reflective, uh, what you will mainly see on your model is the color. But because we don't really have our wireframe yet, we just need to see what will give us the best view on model details. And so far, it looks like it is the second one. Let's see. Yeah, that one. Exactly. Okay. So I'm happy with that. So now it's time to bring in our wireframe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to material and under the miscellaneous tab here, you have a material graph and that contains a uh, material that is called a uh, shaded wireframe. So we're gonna bring that in and you will see the wireframe, but maybe not as clear as you would like it to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on our material and we're gonna adjust the settings, okay? So I'm going to double click on that. We're going to go to our material tab up here and I'm going to start off with my wire color. So I'm going to click on that and I want this to be bright blue. And as we do that, you can see that it's very, very clear in our model. Okay. This gives us a, a pretty good view of what the wireframe looks like. So we're going to accept that. And uh, let's see what we're going to do here is the width in pixels. That is something that you can turn on or off. And you can see as we turn that off, you see all the uh, lines and this is quite high poly or you can leave that on if you like. OK, I'm happy with this. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's say that I'm happy with this and I want to uh, present this in a way that is, uh, you know, showing off the entire model. What I could do here is, for example, uh, introduce a uh, key shot turntable. So we're going to do that. I'm going to jump over to my animation wizard down here. And I want a turntable and it's called an, uh, a wizard for a reason because it's really simple. So I'm going to click on my turntable. I'm going to hit next. Uh, what's the model? The flyer, of course. Hit next. Here I got a couple of options. Um, do I want it to be a 360 degree rotation or not? Do I want the model to be the center of rotation or the environment? I can choose that. And I can choose whether I want it to be uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay. 
Now, here we have a, uh, an ease in or an ease out or linear. What that means is if you have an ease in, it will start slowly, it will then speed up, and then it will probably slow down again. If you have a linear, then it will be a regular speed all the way around, okay? So I'm gonna leave that at linear. Let's set this to, I don't know, let's do, uh, this is duration in seconds. Let's do seven seconds, okay? And as we do that, you can see that our end moved to seven seconds as well. So I'm all okay with that. I'm just gonna hit finish and uh, let's see, there we go. It's calculating, so now if I were to hit play, and it's just caching this, but you can see that it's working, okay? So that is a method to display your wireframe in Keyshot, if you like, okay? So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, short video. If you have any questions, let me know, as always. And uh, that said, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, hope to see you guys in my next video. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.